欢迎回到新闻现场。今年的台北国际电脑展 （Computex） 科技界全员到齐，堪称是神仙打架的梦幻阵容。这番新闻很难得是争取到了 AMD 执行长苏思峰的专访机会。由于 AMD 是唯一在 CPU 还有 GPU 都有完整产品线的晶片大厂，这回苏思峰和我们畅谈从云端到客户端的 AI 趋势。关键时刻掌握关键对话，大家好，我是志杰。今年的 Computex 台北国际电脑展真的是大咖云集，而今天呢，我们要带您和一位传奇的 CEO 面对面。他在二零一四年接掌超维 AMD 的时候，当时超维是一间亏损的公司，而十年在他的领导之下，超维的市值从原本的三十亿美金飙升到超过两千亿美金，超越了英特尔，现在更要在 AI 领域跟辉达来正面对决。今天这位擅长逆转胜的半导体女王苏姿峰要来跟我们聊聊 AI 方向。Hello, Lisa. Ni hao. Oh, ni hao. Xie xie. You are the pride of Taiwan, and a lot of people love you. Could you share some sentiment with us upon your trip to Taiwan? Well, first, it's、uh, wonderful to be here. It's always great to come to Taiwan, but it's a real honor this time、uh, to be the、uh, opening keynote at Computex. So everybody is coming to Computex in the technology world. Uh, because it's a great opportunity for us to bring together the ecosystem, and this year is very, very special because of the importance of AI. So it's great to be in Taiwan. Just like you said, in the AI era, Taiwan is at the epicenter. And what is your development strategy for AI ecosystem in Taiwan? Well, the most important thing is AI is going to touch all of our lives, and、um, you know from. Um, our standpoint, we see AI in every product, whether you're talking about consumer products, or、uh, products at the edge, or even products in the cloud and in data centers. So in Taiwan, we have so many partners that help us make these AI products successful,、uh, including our supply chain partners,、uh, including our、uh, design partners, and then including you know very uh, uh, very many of our customers are also here in Taiwan. So,、um, do you have any a new strategy in this AI era? Because I know、uh, you have been working with them for a long time. But is there any difference? I think the key difference here is、um, our goal is to bring the AI technology out as fast as possible. So,、um, you know, this morning at uh, Computex uh, at, the, at our keynote, we talked about so many new products. We talked about. Uh, new AI PCs.、Uh, we talked about new data center products uh, for uh, large-scale AI, and all of these products require very, very close collaboration、uh, to make them successful. And especially if we want to、um, go as fast as possible. So we love the relationships、um, that we have with TSMC and with all of our、um, uh, ODM design partners and with all of our. Um, you know, overall ecosystem. So actually, I was very、uh, honored to have、uh, Johnny Shi、uh, from ASUS with us、uh, this morning, also to talk about、um, the deep partnership we have、uh, there. So lots of partners.、Mm-hmm. Today at Computex, you begin with AI PC and some clients' new product. I would like to know more about the announcement and、um, what is your goal. Well, you know, AI PCs. If you think about PCs, they've been around for a long time, and we all use them. But、uh, there's an opportunity for AI PCs to now go to a completely different level of、uh, new types of capabilities. So、um, I view this as a、um, a key new technology that will be very, very important. Um, for the next few years, so we announced、uh, some new products and also、uh, you know, very good partnerships, very deep partnerships uh, with uh, key um, uh, key partners like、uh, Microsoft joined us today.、Um, as I mentioned,、uh, Johnny from ASUS was here. Uh, HP uh, Enrique Loris、uh, was with us, as well as、uh, Lenovo Luca Rossi. And the key is that we're all working together to bring these new PCs to the market as soon as possible. And we'll see some of these products in market as As early as、uh, next month in July. Yeah, the main thing is、uh, we have、um, higher performance and higher capability, and also、um, our technology will give you a very good、um, overall accuracy. So the main thing to say is that you know our goal is to make sure that the the PC form factor can become your new best friend. 
and it will help you and help all of us uh, be able to uh, be more productive. Uh, if you're a creator, you can create very beautiful images. Um, if you want to communicate, for example, my Chinese should be better. My AI PC can help that with uh, real-time translation. So there's a lot of opportunities for AI PCs to change the way we uh, really live and work and play. Mm -hmm. What about the momentum? What if it uh, a large demand this year, or maybe we should have to wait till next year? I think we'll see some uh, good demand this year, actually, starting in the second half of this year, and then um, also going into 2025 um, and beyond. But in a battlefield of AIPC, we see different architectures. Can you tell me about the significant difference between the ARM-based architecture and AMD's architecture? You know, I think the most important thing uh, for our architecture is uh, it's a very balanced architecture. So, uh, you know, we have very strong AI capability with our new uh, Ryzen AI products. We also have very strong uh, productivity capability. We have very strong graphics and gaming capability. So it's a great all around uh, capability. And that's what we're always thinking about with our devices going forward is, you know, how do we make sure that you can use all of these things for, um, for the new products?